Hello, everybody. Sound check one, two, one, two. Uh, welcome to episode three of Taldori Knights Fields of Wonder. I don't think Knights is an official portion of that title, but <laughs> it is evening, so I'm making that adjustment right now. Uh, <laughs> hey, y'all. Um, professional that. is always here on the amphitheater. Um, before we get into the into the story that we have planned for you tonight, I would like to, first of all, introduce the players that we're going to be playing with. Uh, first of all, let me start out with Alex. Uh, who are you and who are you going to be playing tonight? Uh, hello, uh, my name is Alex or Ziva. Uh, my pronouns are he, him, and I will be playing Hosen Sunhelm, uh, the Runite fighter and rogue uh, multi-class uh, halfling. Um, pronouns also he, him. Very excited to be here. Excellent. Uh, how about you, Rain? Hello, I am Rain. Let me get my pronouns. Never did that before. Um, I, well, Rain, me, goes by she, her. <laughs> and I will be playing Big Mama Mocha. Half, halfling druid, circle of the swamp. We'll see which. She also goes by um, she, her. Or you can also say she identifies as being hangry. <laughs> Love it. Um, and let's move it over to uh, Smitty. What are you up to? Smitty, y'all. I'm a he, him, uh, playing second. Lovely little Kanko uh, goes by they, them. Uh, and yeah, that's all I got for you. Fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, and last but not least, Mr. Jacob. So everybody, Jacob Plick, Duval King Jacob, uh, Twitter, Insta, all over the internet. And uh, as per usual, tonight we'll be playing Cinnabon Garris. Uh, is a circle of the Wildfire Druid, and uh, he's got a little doggo named Archie. Wait, oh, that's right. Yeah, the fire dog. Yeah. Very cool. Fire um, Corgi. Fire Corgi specifically, yes. Fire Corgi. <laughs> uh, and hey, everybody, I am your DM for the evening. I uh, will be reprising my role as Philadelphia, and um, my pronouns are also he, him. Now, before we get into things, as always, we like to make sure that the folks that helped us get here um, get their proper shout outs, uh, especially the artists. Now, so Happy Cap was in charge of the overlays. Maria did a fantastic job with them, not only on the original overlays, but also on, on short notice updating the, uh, the overlays with our character art. And speaking of which, that is done by Gremlin Art on Twitter. Um, they, they did a really awesome, uh, uh, what would you say it was, Jacob? Did you see it? Like they, there was like a brand new commission that, that Lynn did and it's, oh my God, it is amazing. You uh, the one, this thing out. The, the, the one that was uh, um, for Abraxas Pre Precipice. Yes, that's which right, is, that's right. Which is, in my opinion, the greatest named actual play ever. It's so fucking fun to say. Um, <laughs> and yeah, it's unreal. Like, it's ridiculous. It's Lynn is way cool. too talented. <laughs> super talented. That's right. And and we cannot forget Maddie for both the intro and the promos, which we're going to see in, in a second. Uh, I would also be remiss if I didn't mention that we were affiliates at Start Playing as well as Session Zero, great uh, tangential uh, affiliates for us that allow us to sort of um, allow folks to get into D&D games that they wouldn't otherwise uh, get into and start playing as well as get, uh, get some sweet clothes from, from Session Zero. Uh, I will also mention that the Discord is open and uh, if you could drop in that uh, Discord link, what is it? I, I could probably do this, Discord. How's that? Hell yeah. I'm like look at him go. Look, look, at look at him go. Hell yeah. And um, and don't forget, we've got Kofi open for, for some really cool things. We have been uh, giving out GM notes as well as uh, some sneak peeks into some of the things that are coming on. Uh, it's it's a really cool, really cool way for you to stay in close touch with, with us. Now, I believe that is everything. Jacob, over to you. Any any announcements that you would like to make prior to us us getting out there? 
Yeah, actually. Uh, so, um, so Wednesdays on the Urban Theater, uh, Duval's Gaming Journey, my little uh, retro gaming uh, nostalgia bomb show, uh, is uh, just wrapped up uh, Pokemon. So we're hopping into Final Fantasy IX. So if you've been waiting to see what the next game was going to be, uh, now you know. Um, and uh, damn, it's really fucking fun. Uh, so come watch me play tomorrow, 8 p.m. Eastern time, same bat time, same bat channel. All right, and with that said, let's get ready to go on an adventure. All right, welcome back. Um, so let's talk a little bit about last week. Last week, um, at the very beginning of the session, we kicked it off with second having a vision that uh, was very intense in some ways, and that was very difficult for vision uh, for for second to to perhaps internalize or or rather uh, externalize, as it were. And as, as the process of sort of going through what was happening on the battlefield kind of uh, got, kind of moved along, the team more or less tried to process their trauma uh, in, in some way, but they, they decided that the best course of action next was to then head over to the mayor's house where there was a potential for them to get some further information about what was happening. Unfortunately, the mayor being as aloof and stoic as he was, he did not provide nearly as much information as perhaps the group had uh, had wanted. Although they did get a look at the most important story element of this entire campaign, which is the two doors within the, uh, the mayor's house. Then they left the mayor's house to go and uh, go to the infirmary and interrogate the big bad. And this is where the majority of the nuggets were, were provided. And um, each of them got uh, incrementally more information as, as they talked to them. And each of them, as they left, had some very, very crucial um, sort of parting words for the big bad. And then afterwards, you all went over to Hosen's house where uh, where Balthazar had uh, had welcomed you all in, and you noticed that there was a littering of books all across the floor. And after a brief moment of having some tea there, you then decided to go to a library where you found some more information specifically as it relates to 
the maps of the area, some of the cultural things. Volo had a guide to some of the dives of uh, West Room. And after uh, getting some of those things, you then went over back to uh, Hosen's house where Balthazar had provided a whole meal of, uh, of mutton. And at that point, we kind of faded to black as you all were kind of finishing up your meal. And before we kick off, I would like for all of you to take that short, uh, that long rest button so you can wake up tomorrow nice and fresh. Booyah. Thank all right. You, thank you. And so we're going to kick off in the morning and it is, uh, it is bright, it is warm, and, uh, and you all slept very, very well. I think, um, Hosen, I, I don't think I would be speaking out of turn to say that, that the two of you are fantastic hosts. Yes. We like to think so, yes. <laughs> and, and you all may have been slightly, actually, no, you're not slightly cramped because you're, you're team small. So, uh, <laughs> very so true. It, it was very comfortable and the bedding and, and mattresses and those sorts of things were very, very well suited for all of you. Um, who would you say would wake up first? Cinnamon's got breakfast to make. All right. So Cinnabon, you're up first? I believe so. Okay. Um, I think Hosen wakes up as well, knowing that Cinnabon's going to be making breakfast and like provides help, but letting Cinnabon uh, take the reins. Okay. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. Uh, all right. Are you trying to be quiet as you're doing this so as not to wake everybody up? Mm. I think he probably wouldn't have thought of that. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, and I, I appreciate it was kind of a leading question, um, but that's fine. So why don't... Um, screw it. Let's just say this. You start getting in the kitchen and opening pantries and, um, and those sorts of things. And what I will say is that you immediately notice that it is scarcer than you would expect. Um, the meal that you had last night seemed to be uh, very, very full, and it was a little bit uh, incongruous with the way that the pantries look at the moment. Um, you do find some, like a, a bag of flour that has like maybe a quarter left of it, uh, you do notice that there's there's a couple of eggs in in like on on the countertop. Um, there are kind of various greens, uh, maybe some chives and whatnot inside of the pantry, but but not a lot. Uh, well, even before all that, um, it certainly would still ex ex exclaim pleasantries. Um, good morning, good morning. Um, did you sleep well? Uh, yes, it was. It was quite a lovely night. Uh, how was your night? I, you slept up top, right? I did. Uh, it was quite beautiful, actually. Uh, right. I really should have written down where all those stars are going to be, and then where will they be tomorrow? And I'm just, you know, I feel like I'm just learning so much. You know, I never thought of doing that. I think that's a lovely idea. Cause just cause where you are and just distance, it's a, it's a hope. I just find it fascinating. That is fascinating. I love it. Sorry about uh, uh, the pantries are a little bit low, but hopefully this can make do. Mm, it's actually, this is more than fine. Um, I will say, if I'm being completely honest, that it actually means that we probably shouldn't have had so much last night. We had a little bit too much fun. That's what that's what this, but this, this all, this equation really comes together for me. But when you're, you know, You have guests. I can't. Exactly. I get it. I get it. Absolutely. It's, uh, uh, Balthazar and I haven't had much guests as of late, so it's it's nice to uh, have some friends, and you know, it was a joyous occasion. It was a it was a feast uh, uh, for heroes, I guess. For us, heroes, heroes. Hmm. Yeah. Are we going to go that far already? I uh, I guess. So sounds weird. Sounds weird, but I don't know. Yeah, I feel like I, I haven't quite earned it yet. I mean, it we'll definitely killed, it. 
kill two people. Does that, True. Do that, do heroes kill people? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I suppose in the stories and the books and things. I guess. Can you tell I've been thinking about this a lot? Yeah. They never really tell you, like, how, what does it feel like to be a hero? They just kind of oh, right. put that title on, It's right? just like they get the medals and the, the congratulations and the, mm -hmm. you know, didn't say. Not super fun yeah. to kill people. No. They should really have, like, some therapy scenes in some books and, like, just really dive into, you know. Yeah. Because that's, hmm. you're right. Huh. We'll workshop it. I suppose... Um, what other veggies do we have? Are we just egging it up this morning? Um, because I'm totally fine with that. I've got some really great seasonings to make this thing really pop. I think, I think that's all we truly have. I'm so sorry, but I, I, I trust your judgment. I think you're going to do an amazing job. Don't even worry. Uh, and, uh, he actually takes out, like, a, uh, as part of his herbalism kit, he has, like, uh, one of those, like, rock, like, like, Salt and like pepper, like that grunt, like those um mills, yeah, yeah. Um, and um, and he's got like a few other herbs like basil and uh, um, uh, I'm thinking of one more anyway. Point, point is, he's he's confident that he's gonna make these eggs fucking shine, <laughs> very cool. Um Second and Big Mama, do you do you intend to sleep in? What are your normal morning schedules? The kitchen table starts to move a little bit uh, as uh, Second crawls out from under it, uh, awoken by uh, your cheddar, rubs the sleep from their eyes. Oh, good morning, Second. Um, how'd you sleep? You are always welcome to sleep on the table in here, second. I mean, I I hope it was comfy down there. I've never slept underneath the table before, but I, I hope your sleep was uh, it was a good rest. The kitchen is a safe space for you. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Is it still morning? Uh, I yes. believe so. And I slept like a shot wildebeest. Oh, it was so good. Oh, that bed was really nice. I'm glad. Oh, <sighs> so good. Eggs will be ready soon. Oh. Oh, are you cooking this morning? Oh, yes. Just whipping up a quick egg or three. Mm -hmm. I uh, you would know this, but Balthazar uh, characteristically oversleeps. Oh, yes. Especially after a big meal. Absolutely. I'll, I'll just let him sleep in. He did a lot last night. And, um, well, he, he deserves it. Um, yes, uh, and we don't have much in terms of tea or coffee or things of that sort. Does anyone want any? This morning? Oh, oh, water would be fine for me if that's all that we have. Um, Indeed. Fine. Water? Anyone else? Yes, water for me is fine. Mm -hmm. uh, a question as far as our um, travels um, that we... Um, are we going on foot? Do we have a cart, horses, anything like that? Hmm. Um, well, we don't own any horses or anything of that sort. Um, we can probably go into town and see if we could get a horse from the stable. Um, or... Uh, how far DM would it be by foot, like on foot or versus horse? The park right to Is that where we're going? Sorry, sorry. Uh, we're probably talking about um, a day and a half on foot versus maybe, I don't know, eight hours on a horse. Gotcha. So a day versus, no, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, two versus one. So two on, on foot, one on horse. Got it. Um, probably two days journey on foot or a day on horseback. Um, it would be a lot quicker. Second. Uh, 
Want to go on horseback? I like that dance. That is a nice dance. You got rhythm. But yes, I think horseback might be a good choice. Um, we could go down to the stable and see how much it is to rent or... No. A second. Oh. The guy? Oh. Oh, do you think that they're going to be angry at us for what we do? No. Okay. You're... Okay. Our our friend was on horseback, right? That's what you're referring to, yes? Yes! I'm... We're... I'm, I'm getting it! I'm getting it! I think... Yes, I, I, I do suppose, though, that it would... Considering, um, what he's, uh... What he's done, we sh should just be fine taking it, if I'm being honest. But that's, to be fair, there's four of us, and that's only one horse. We are pretty small. At least two. Mm -hmm. So mm. need two horses? At least two. Well, we got one. What? Half the problem solved. That's perfect. Assuming... Would Hosen know how much a horse would be? Like to rent? Or yeah, of course. Um and and in fact, uh, you know, you have some some capital uh in, in the way of, of your your family that, that you could just tap on. And if you know, especially based upon the the deeds that you just did and the mission, like you you feel as though you could probably without too much trouble, you know, borrow it. Yeah, I could go down to the table and see if we can at least borrow a horse for two days. One day there, one day back. Shouldn't be too seems much. Fair, seems fair to me. Two and a half days. Good. Some cushion, you know. Yeah. Now, follow-up question. Has anyone ridden a horse before? This is going quite, quite well for us. <laughs> um, yeah, DM, um, just based off of Big Mama Mocha, what do you feel? Um, she's got like some really good animal, animal handling. I feel like during your time in your backstory that you've told me about, I would feel you would have a uh, significant time, not only riding horses, but probably also other types of animals as well. So I feel like Big Mama is very confident on a horse. Cool. Probably been some time for a hosen, but uh, I think I can uh, uh, pick it back up. Yeah, I would agree too. With you, with your background as well, you definitely have have been taught how to ride a horse. Cool. Well, we got two <laughs> riders. We could get two horses. I'm feeling quite quite great about this idea. Perfect. Well, after then, breakfast, let's just, uh, I, I can go down to the stable to see if we can get that at the horse. If... And uh, he, at this point, he has plenty of time to cook a, a freaking egg. Probably overcooked. Um, but, uh, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, it, uh, he put together just like a, a small plate with like a, like a mound of eggs and like it's surrounded with like uh, the basil and seasonings and things like that. Are they scrambled? Mm -hmm. um, it's actually an omelet. Oh, okay, cool. Ooh. Very nice. So good. Making me hungry already. Come on. I just like, I want eggs now. Yeah, right. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be looking at the chef's feet for a while. One day. One day, <laughs> chef's feet. One day. I'm going to monopolize short rests in this fucking campaign. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> All right. Sounds great. So, uh, do you all have your breakfasts, discuss things over, you know, the plans that you're going to have during the day over breakfast. Um, and uh, as you are just sort of finishing up your your meal, uh, Balthazar kind of starts to rumble from from underneath a, a rather large uh, mountain of of uh, bedding. And he kind of uh, rests himself out of, of bed, uh, kind of 
pulls his hair back and uh, and stands up and uh, makes sure that his his beard is is kind of ruffled the right way and then comes over to breakfast and says to you all, well, I see you've done well for yourselves this morning. Oh, this is all cinnamon. Good morning. Good, good morning. morning to y'all. Good morning. Good morning. And uh, Hosen, you said this was Cinnabon's uh, work. And he Absolutely. reaches in and like grabs a piece of the omelet and then puts it in his mouth. He says, oh, wow, that's that is some spice in there. You, you got to you got to share that recipe with me. No, oh, certainly. Um, if you have something to write it down, I'm happy to share it right now. Uh, yeah, he walks over into the kitchen and pulls out, you know, how everybody has those, those like catch all drawers in the kitchen. He's got one of those with a bunch of like notepads and pencils and stuff. And uh, he hands it over to you. Yep. And just quick, quickly write it up. Um, unfortunately, his handwriting is fucking terrible. So good luck. <laughs> <laughs> he looks down at it and is like, it's not great. Well, <laughs> Um, I, I appreciate your uh, your helping me out there. Um, now, y'all, I, I suppose on on your way out, then seems to be. Yeah, yeah. we're going to see a few folk about um, some horses, and then um, be off on our journey. Okay. Um, he says, "Well, uh, take." Obviously, take your time, but um, if there's, you know, Hosen, I'd like to say goodbye one last time before you go. But yeah, as I mentioned, take your time. I'm going to go get washed up. And he kind of walks over into where the wash area is, uh, right next to where his, his leather working studio is. And you can start hearing the water run as he's sort of, you know, washing his face and that sort of thing. Big Mama takes this like brief moment while um, he is away to kind of like gesture over towards Hosen. Can I talk to you for a sec? Yes, of course. Okay. Um, so she just kind of goes off to the side a little bit. So it's kind of like they can whisper together a bit. Mm -hmm. And I was like, um, your husband said some things last night that I would, I mean, I wasn't trying to listen in. I was just, you know, dropping some eaves. Um, and I wanted to comment on his comment as to the content of your character. Um, the thing is, he may have seen you and all your years together, not what I have seen recently. So what I see is a hero. And uh, listen, honey, heroes are like arrows in a time of war, many more are made. And this time, now, right now, maybe your time. I feel it in my bones. And that that right there will define the content of your character in my eyes. And she just, before she tries to get welled up, because that actually does work her up, she just pulls her into like a tight hug. Yeah, I, I just hug you and say, I really need to hear that. Yeah. Thank you. Everybody does every now and then. And, and I uh, just want to say that those two just, and then it's kind of scoots away. Um, gives you a big old hug, uh, thinks about it, kind of nods, eats a few bites. Um, starts putting on his armor over in the leather workshop and says goodbye to uh, uh, Balthazar. Okay. Uh, he is right in the process of shaving, like, you know, so that the whiskers don't like crawl up on top of his face to shape, shape his beard properly. And he sees you come over and wipes off some of the cream and, uh, and says, uh, I suppose it's, is that time now? I, I, I think it is. Um, I'll be home soon. I promise. Well, just don't go anywhere without putting on that armor I gave you. Oh, of course. Um, actually, can you help me uh, put it on? Um, he kind of shakes his head a little bit, says, ah, I, I would like nothing more. Um, and he goes to pick up, pick up the armor and then 
you know, lace it around your, your back. And once he does this, he puts his hands on your shoulders and then, uh, and with, you know, he kind of like wraps his hands around your belly and gives you a kiss on the neck and then spins you around and says, be safe out there. I will. I mean, you are the best armor maker I, I can possibly think of in this realm. And you protecting me, I know I'll be home safe sooner than you know. Just think of those those that leather around you as as sort of my arms protecting you as you as you go out there always now if you wouldn't mind you'll have any like peaks around you left a bit of a mess and i am very much lack uh like the idea of getting some, rid of some of these library books now i i know oh, yeah of course <laughs> i know i'm going to keep the ones that that you haven't finished yet but there's a lot that you have finished and i know the library needs them i know i know i think Hosen kind of looks at his books thinks about take as much as you can <laughs> take take the take the ones you know that i've finished and i've read but um i think it's good it's a new chapter it's an interesting choice of words. Yes, I agree. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. And then we shall, I guess, fast forward to, unless there's anything else you want to do inside of, of the Hosen Balthazar residence, Sunhelm, Ka Casa mm -hmm. Sunhelm. <laughs> Before the leave, I know that both is going to give, you know, him like a huge hug as well all right all right very cool um I, okay i can't resist i have to yeah, ask please go for it uh, second how are you ex <laughs> oh good good i was wondering i was i, I was just i was getting nervous because I, I just didn't know Good. Ooh, all right. Well, that's a load off my mind. Just, you know, this whole bandit problem now to deal with. No oh, biggie. <laughs> well, last thing on your heart. Indeed. <laughs> all right. Over so, down. Hosen, we are going to the same place that you met with Yeti. Um, and, and so what that I don't know. How does that how does that make you feel? Because you're kind of headed to that same direction. Yeah. I think Hosen feels like a new sense of purpose, like going to this place. It's not like making a deal, making a business trade. Um, he does get a little bit of that kind of secondhand embarrassment kind of a deal of just like thinking about his past and like his actions. Um, sure. but I, I think with this new purpose in mind of going to the forest to retrieve food from the silos, I think he feels more confident and now he has his friends with him. At first he was alone in this, um, but now he has, uh, people around him, uh, ready to take on what's next. It's just kind of like, like stops, stares for a moment, um, and then powers through. Gotcha. Um, all right. So you make it to the um, to the stables, and it's exactly as it was as you you left it, Hosen. There are two other horses that are inside of there, um, but there's no people, and the uh, the horses themselves are currently bareback. Um. Would Hosen know like the stable master's name? Um, yeah, I would. I would assume so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you you know him at only his first name because you haven't spent a lot of time out here, but but yeah. you you've heard uh, him referred to as Tomas. Mm -hmm. Um, as we kind of walk in, uh, Hosen kind of shouts, uh, "Tomas, are you there?" Tomas. Um. Can I look around to see if I find any signs of Tomas? Um, 
Roll an intelligence check. Got it. Minus one, BB. Let's go. Fifteen. Uh, okay. With the fifteen, you probably gather that Tomas is likely not here, uh, just based upon uh, what has transpired inside of the town. He's probably indisposed with, with some other sort of business at the moment. You can tell that the horses are pretty, pretty solid. They, you know, they have enough. Uh, enough oats and enough water so that the, they're they're rather healthy and they're secured so they're not going to run away so um yeah I, I think i think you kind of gather that he's just sort of either hasn't shown up to the job yet or he's got other stuff going on gotcha uh do i see like the saddles and other yep. supplies mm -hmm. yep they're all kind of hung up on on big hooks right by the sides of the where the stables are and excuse me um and they yeah um, and in, fact, in fact, they also have the BS uh, st stamp on them as well. True. That makes sense. You got to. Got it. Um, yeah, I, I think Hosea kind of looks uh, around, not seeing anybody, but knowing the urgency of the situation. Should should uh, should I leave like an IOU? Do I should I leave a note saying like, hey, we'll be back in two days, two and a half days, three days? Yeah, like right, right letter would be fine. Yeah, and makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and even if they did get upset, if we bring food with us, true. You know, <laughs> we 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 can use that as a promotional thing for this stable. You know, just like horses from this stable save the realm. It's great. Um, that's actually way more intelligent than I was even considering. So that's. Look at you. F further, Perfect. just the long, the long game. <laughs> <laughs> um, when you when you mention the food, second runs to uh, the side of the stable and grabs a bunch of empty saddlebags and brings them back. Brilliant. Love that. What would we do without you, second? <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, there's two horses here. We could just take both of them. Or should we leave one? Oh, no. It feels... Oh, all we need is two, so... Yeah. Is the... Is Yeti's horse stable here? No. Interesting. Mm. I mean, if we leave a nice note and take both horses, I feel like, you know... It will be upset for a know moment. Where... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry to interrupt. Where mm -hmm. is where is Yeti's horse? You don't know at the moment. Okay. Anyone last else is kind of concerned last about you that? Saw it, it was in the town square. That's the last time you saw it. Okay. So Big Mama, she does have great handwriting. Hashtag Cinnabon. <laughs> and so she'll take out like, you know, her quill and her book and she'll rip a page out the back of it and write <clears throat> dear stable master thank you so much for allowing us to borrow two of your horses there seems to be a stray horse somewhere in the town center that you are more than welcome to take as your own we will return your two horses as best we can as soon as we can when we can wherever we can thank you team small it's oh there it is it's official there it is <laughs> yes team small <laughs> smol yes. oh no <laughs> yeah and then so um um Jose, is this fine with this with this work for you looks at it i think that should be fine um yes. uh yes. uh and also i kind of write like i think hosen writes um I'm trying to think. I think Hosen writes his name down as well to make sure it's not just like a random group just called Team Small. <laughs> There's some like some trace. Foiled uh, again by Team Small. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that damn Team Small. <laughs> um uh, like Hosen plus three. Yeah, right. Uh, Hosen plus uh I, I think he writes HS plus T S um <laughs> on it. Um just to uh, uh, give it some some to trace back to, so that way the town doesn't go looking for this team small. Um. 
Right, it sounds good. Yeah, start setting up the horses. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, so why don't you, Hosen, and you, Big Mama, roll uh, animal handling checks. Uh, Big Mama, why don't you do it with advantage based upon what I know about your character and Hosen. Since it's been a while, why don't you do it straight? Yeah, that's fair. Okay, so guidance on Hosen. Did I roll animal handling? Okay. Uh, second, roll, second roll, cast guidance on Big Mama. Oh, yeah. I'll take that. Ooh. Hell yeah. All right, 17, and then roll, please. Yeah, these bareback horses at the moment are, um, are so actually, uh, Jose, yours was eighteen, and then plus four, so twenty-two. Oh man, okay, so and then twenty-one as well. So chip, man. So both of these horses are, <laughs> you know, maybe maybe it's a combination of the gentleness that you bring, uh, the the warm familiarity, as well as the fact that it's early in the morning and they are rather docile to 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 begin with. Uh, you're able to get the um, the saddle strapped on, no issues whatsoever. Uh, second, are you going to be kind of strapping the empty saddle bags on? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And that happens without any problems either. So you all are pretty much ready to go. Uh, just to mention that the weather at the moment is uh, as it has been over the past couple of days, just uh, very uh, pristine very few clouds in the sky and and nice and warm and and in fact a little bit inviting to adventure that billiam is a great reminder because i would like to cast your craft and get an idea of what the weather will be for the next 24 hours hey um hmm so over the next 24 hours, you expect it to have a very reasonable variation in um, in in the uh, in, in the temperature. Uh, that said, you do not believe it to uh, to remain well. Actually, how how certain is Druidcraft? Uh, it I so uh, blah, 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 you create a tiny harmless sensory effect that predicts what the weather will be what the weather will be at your location for the next 24 hours. Um, oh, the effect like with might 100% manifest. certainty. Yep. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Okay. 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 So, you know, I've never actually had a player cast Broodcraft like that before. That's the first time ever. I've been, I've been thinking about it since I created Cinnabon specifically. That's really cool. <laughs> Uh, okay, so what? So you hold out your hand, mm -hmm. and you uh, you start to cast the spell, mm -hmm. and what happens is that you get a um, a warm uh, a, a warm clod of dirt kind of appears into your hand, um, and you can smell the the earthiness of this dirt, and it's it's fresh. And it is, uh, it is, it is very, uh, very appealing. And then, as the spell kind of starts to dissipate towards the end of the spell, spell, you feel it become moist and start to crumble. So, how does everyone feel about rain? Um, I'm okay with it. All right. Because I, I believe we'll be expecting yeah. some. Perfect. Second, so what about you? Second looks around at their feathers uh, and we'll go again to the stable to see if there's like a small tarp or anything. <laughs> well, there uh, you go. Roll, roll investigation. Five. Uh, with a five, you, you find a, a towel. <laughs> I'll pack it up. All right, cool. <laughs> Always pack a towel. <laughs> no, it's a good towel. Um, uh, okay. uh, I, I kind of seeing second looking around. Um, I do have a blanket in my my uh, my bag in case uh, that might help a little bit. If if that makes you more comfortable. 
That's what I mean. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. As long as I don't catch a cold, that is. That would be that, a, that's unfortunate. Right. Oh. That would be unfortunate. Well, shall we? We shall. All right. Uh, go ahead, Spitty. Who's writing who? Ooh, yeah. So we've got two writers, one being Hosen and one being Big Mama. Uh, second, hmm. do you want to ride with me? Second, we'll hop up, uh, get settled, uh, look around Hosen at the horse, look at Hosen, nod. My mama always said, sometimes you got to put your money where your gift horse's mouth is. Wise words, second. Wise words. <laughs> <laughs> um, second, as you're kind of like super close, uh, holding on to Hosen, um, you see some uh, uh, some markings like around uh, Hosen's neck, kind of like where the uh, clavicle is. That's all. Uh, and there's a bit of a thud behind behind you, big Mama Mocha, because uh, he just <laughs> hops up right oh. and just blam. I declare. There you are. <laughs> I was here the whole time. It's like That's right. I am actually the little spoon, so this works. So. <laughs> I have no idea what that means. <laughs> But I'm sure I hope that you take the opportunity to explain it to me on this this ride. In exact in detail. Sure. All right. So Hosen, you especially know this because you saw kind of off in the distance, that's where Yeti was was riding. Uh, the the trail itself is not that far off. And um and from uh, remind me, Big Mama, you were the one that looked at the map, or was it Cinnabon? I think we both did. Okay. We both did. Okay, so from your knowledge of the map and and uh, where current positioning is, you know that you will head have to head off towards the east into the into the rising sun. All right. Um, I'll take a just to make a quick kind of spin around for a sec to look at the town the, the town square and just see if I see if the horse is there or not. Uh, make a perception check. Sure. Uh, seventeen. Uh, with the seventeen, you do not see it. As Big Mama is um, just like taking the rain, she, you know, like signals over to Hosen. Should we leave any kind of money now or later for taking the horses? Oh, how, how would you pay? I don't oh. want to steal them. I mean, we don't bring them back, but they just don't know mm -hmm. besides the litter. But yeah, um, that is a good point. Probably should leave some behind. Good faith. Um, uh, Hosen kind of yeah, good, good faith. Um, pull, Hosen pulls out uh, 15 gold coins and like kind of places it um, near, I'm assuming the civil master might have like a desk of some sort um, or where the note is kind of a deal, just kind of like place it by there. Yeah, I imagine there's a place right near the entrance where, where the civil master might put their I don't know, keys or something and their wallet, you know, when they come in to, to do their work, yeah. you know, just to put that stuff there. So maybe that's where you put the, the um, letter too. Yeah. I, I place like 15 gold uh, there just as insurance kind of a deal. Uh, second, we'll see that and uh, take out their pouch and then we'll say, you're, a bad, you're as bad at counting as you are at reading second. And we'll slowly count out 15, but instead of actually counting them, they just place a gold coin next to each of Hosen's gold coins that's down there to make sure they get the right amount. 
That's very kind of you, Second. Generosity is the providence of the heavenly Saren Ray. At this rate, we could buy the whole stable. <laughs> is this a lot of money? I mean, it's a good amount, but it's, you know. Right. Okay. Uh, one last thing. Call it a hunch. Um, do you mind if we stop by the the um, infirmary before we, we, we leave? Of course. Why? Because if we don't see uh, Yeti's horse, then if that horse is missing, so may he. And now I'm a little concerned. Well, now I am too, now that you bring it up like that. So, open and creepify. Let's go ahead. Let's, we, we have to go that way now. Let, let's do it. Agreed. All right, cool. fair enough. So you're headed back to the infirmary? Yep. Okay. Just to, uh, see, if he's, just to see if he's there. Are you taking the horses or are you dismounting and walking? That's up to uh, our two main hey, representatives. Mama's already up here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Team small. Oh, it takes goodness. a while for us to uh, get down. fell <laughs> <laughs> down. <laughs> that visual is incredible. <laughs> yeah, right, right back into uh, town on horseback. Okay. You head down to the southern quarter of the town where you see the infirmary there. Um, and yeah, it's, it's fairly early in the morning, so there isn't a lot of activity down here. Um, but it doesn't look closed. Yeah, I don't, especially this early, like, I don't think I would even just intent wise, I don't think I want to like cause a scene or anything like that. It's more just like, is he still in there? If he's still in there, cool. If he's not fucking not cool. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'll, you, you got to walk in there, dude. I'm not going to put you in there. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm just, just yeah. Check. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll walk in. All right. Sounds good. You hop off the horse, uh, open the door. You walk in. Mm -hmm. You do not see Yeti. Is the nurse there? The nurse is not there. I want, I, okay. So, uh, problem. No one's here at all. Oh, as in who? Yeah, Getty I and the nurse. I, I don't remember her name. Both of them are not here. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. So, like, Mick Mama <laughs> jumps down and, like, comes in. Can we survey the area? Does it look like there was anything, like, amiss, tossed? Yeah. This one, did anything smell off when I walked in? Uh, why don't both of you make perception checks? Oh, okay. yeah. He's on a high alert now. Fucking 25. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Okay, so with both of you, uh, both of you now can see that uh, there is some of that. Remember I said that Yeti was wrapped up in yeah. a combination of like yarn and gauze and those sorts of things. Um, but it is, uh, most of it is gone. But you could tell that there are a few scraps underneath the cot where he currently, where he, where he was. Hmm. Hosen, second, are you still on the horse or are you, you hopped off and, and came in? I think after seeing yeah, Big I, Mama I back Mocha, like follow on, yeah, yeah. yeah. If, okay, cool. If the news was relayed, we walk it or I walk in at least. Yeah, um, I'd, I'd follow Hosen and uh, just make sure to tie the horses up before we go inside. Good idea. Smart. Smart. 
Um, okay. Um, um, posing gets terrified for a second. Um, we gotta find that camp. They, they might be gone by now. Uh, who, who, who's to say? Um. There is, there's no sign of a struggle or anything with the 25? As That's I mentioned. The, yeah, just making sure. There are, there are a couple of those scraps underneath. Right, right. Now, you don't know the nature of those scraps, but yeah, 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 they're yeah. there. Yeah. Mama Mocha is going to go ahead and pick up those scraps mm -hmm. and then put them like in her pouch. Okay. They would assuming, yeah, like those you said those were the ones that actually were wrapped around Yeti and whatnot, right? That's right, yes. Cool. Let's do this. Second taps hosen on the shoulder. And we'll point to the sword on Hosen's back. You don't want this. You open a can of worms, now we're gonna have to line it. You're right. Um Hosen just uh takes a second. I mean we can <sighs> we can get rid of the sword. We could just toss it. We could just throw it. Or we know where the camp is. He probably wants us to throw it back. We could use it to our advantage at some sort. Use as bait. Draw him out. Yeah, I, I feel that if we didn't have the sword and came across Yeti, that would not make the circumstances improve. I think that we would need to have the sword on us mm -hmm. as some sort of bargaining chip. True. But he doesn't need the bandits, right? Why would he go to that camp? Why would, would he bring her to with him? I'm just... You're right. I, ha I have to I get my money. He has to get his money. We should probably make haste towards the camp. I mean, like, it's... I... I really... really want to get this guy and save the nurse and, and also the food is with the camp that might be the best place that he's going to be. Sure. So. But we don't even know if she's alive or with him. True. We don't know... We, so the question is, is do we just go with the one thing that we do know? Or do we spend more time trying to figure out where he where he went and track some things? Help us where to go. Sure. If you're telling the truth, that is. I say I mean Mm -hmm. I think we should go to the camp. Right. In any case, if we go there in record time. And we're already going f half faster than we were originally yesterday, so mm -hmm. hopefully that will buy us some time. And if they took from the silos, it's going to take a, a quite some time for them to move all that food. And if anything, if they move the food, maybe there might be stuff there that we can find out where they went, or I don't know. So I think we should head there. <sighs> we shouldn't have left her along with him. And he just gets back well, on the you horse. You can't blame yourself for that. You cannot blame yourself for that. That is what her title is, is to be caring over those who are injured, regardless of the state that came in here.
stumbling yourself for that. If she's with him, we will absolutely take her from them and we will absolutely be the party crashes to what they, whatever they are doing. I hope you're right. I feel it in my bones. I think we are. <sighs> you kind of like, just like, sh tries to just like shake this like ugly, nasty, like feeling off of him of like this more guilt. And he just, he doesn't say anything. He just gets back on the horse. Goes and gets on his horse too. Kind of, you ready? And helps the second up. <laughs> <laughs> Big Mama Mocha makes her way up as well. We have to like get on each other's shoulders <laughs> just to get onto the horse. It's, <laughs> oh, it's so bad in the best way. Uh, I love it. Such a sad somber scene, but just be like, okay, hold on, just get on just get, just just, just hold on. <laughs> <laughs> just one, two, three, lift. All right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Put some uh, <clears throat> phone, phone books in the stirrups. <laughs> right. Yeah. There we go. Next time. Hey, uh, can second fly, Smitty? No. Kikus okay. are flightless birds, if I recall correctly. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, cool. I was just checking your character sheet for that. <laughs> all right. Oh. Um. All right. You head out. That's right. <laughs> right. It is roughly about 9, 9.30 in the morning. Um, the sun is, is kind of uh, right up sort of in your in your face as you're as you're driving uh it, that towards the east along this pretty well established trail and um and would you mind telling me what your what your relative speed is are you are you hoofing it or are you sort of just moving at a, at a decent pace like are you hauling my vote would be hauling at this point but same Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on a little bit tighter. Yeah. Yeah. Not really any oh shit handles on these things. <laughs> no. It's up and down. Just, just. Yeah. Uh, okay, cool. So, Bonanza's theme starts playing. Like <laughs> Yeah, exactly. So you all are hauling. And at this speed, uh, you, Cinnabon and Big Mama have, have, more or less back of the envelope calculated it'll probably take you by the end of the evening to get to um to the edge of the forest and then you know you will then be able to move your way into it um and you as you are going for you know roughly an hour or two uh there is you you do see kind of off in the distance, there is somebody coming in your direction. Um, and as, as of right now, they are very, very far off. So they may or may not notice you probably at this point just because you are hauling. And so the dust is probably kicking up a bunch. Sure. Um, but at the moment, you know, they, they do not uh, seem to be that, that concerned. As for the areas around you, this is very similar to what you saw kind of around Turst Fields, which is more or less um, these recently harvested fields that are are still, uh, there is still a little bit of life left in them, although they are crunchy when you step on them. They're, um, the fields are, are a little bit dry and cracked and, um, but it is flat as far as the eye could see. What would you With like to do? The person that you said that was ahead of us, uh -huh. were they coming in the same direction or were we gaining Correct. speed on? Okay. They're coming They're in, in, coming in your direction on a horse. On a horse. But at a at a very, very slow pace. I, I think Cantor, no, Cantor is a little bit faster. Like a gentle. So trot? Right. Trot. Yeah, they are trotting. <laughs> the things we learn in Tondori <laughs> Field of Wonder. <laughs> <laughs> cool. 
Do we turn on our blinker and signal? To go <laughs> down? <laughs> <laughs> Big Mama does kind of like slow up a little bit to where it's sure. not so a frenzied gallop and kind of like like gestures over to Jose and kind of like you know kind Hose of slow slaves. down. Yeah. Okay. Okay, at this point, you are roughly about, let's say, a thousand feet away from this person. And they have not changed direction nor speed. And in fact, I would say... Um, probably Cinnabon. Mm. Just based upon your passive... Uh, numbers sure. here. I think you probably have the best eyesight of the group. Mm -hmm. And and what I think that you notice is that this person is lying on their horse. Uh, okay. Uh, I was not expecting that. Um, like face down on, on the horse. Like uh, uh, horizontally? Or no, no, no! Like, like they were sitting, and now they're slumped forward. Oh, okay, got it. Uh, I don't think that person might be hurt or worse. How? Oh, well, shit. All right, well, let's let's go get closer. I mean, yes, yes. Oh would be fine he's a little just like fl fl super flustered still um yeah and we'll just keep we'll keep moving till at you know we get close enough um you are now about 500 feet away uh 200 feet away 150 feet away and now it is close enough for you to tell that this person is in fact wounded. The Do we recognize this person? Uh, not at 150 feet, um, but it is uh, this horse is uh, is covered in some sort of blood, uh, and it does not appear as though the person is moving. Should we stop and let it approach us? I think Tom is of the essence, so. All right, okay, all right. Yeah, can Hosea take a quick glance around to see if there's Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, anybody yeah. who wants to, you can make perception checks. Yeah, definitely. Uh -huh, um, uh -huh. uh, 18 for Cinnamon. 14 for Perception. Because he's been, he's been bombarded on the road before, so no fucking. And seven for Big Mama. Oof. Okay, uh, so I think Cinnabon, you're the only one. And second, you did not you did not roll, right? No, but actually, I'm gonna roll to see if I can determine. Oh, it doesn't matter. I got a five to see uh, what I can discern about the body and the horse. If there's anything like, are they breathing still, etc. Well, so that wouldn't be perception. That would be investigation. So if you want to roll an investigation instead uh, of perception, no, it's it's gonna be two. I'll just keep the same roll. It'll be even worse. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Uh, no, I mean, besides, so I will tell you, you, you are not familiar with this person. It's, uh, and the other thing that I will give you is that it appears as though they have been on the road for a while. There, uh, there is a ton of dust uh, all over their, their horse and all over their clothes. Um, and they appear to be somebody that has, has come from a long journey. I mean, you, you all know that this road is is very frequently traveled by by people who are traveling, and uh, and so that is what you assume that this person is. And how close are we now to that person? Passing it. Oh. I... Oh yeah. Let's let's stop. Yeah, Big Mama wants to try to um, see if she can at least stop the horse. Perfect. So the horse just like yeah. Yeah, I realize that was a bit accelerated, but I, I I don't know how to count down from 150 anymore. <laughs> so, so you're there now. Um, 150, two feet. 
<laughs> okay, so uh, Big Mama, you want to investigate a little bit closer? Yeah, I want to look at, yeah, the um, person I'm assuming we pull up side by side. Yeah. Um, to the person and kind of like, you know, check to see how, yeah, to see them, like, you know, their state, like if they're, how close to death they are. Yeah, um, very close to death. And you could tell that there is a massive wound inside of their neck. Um, yeah. Second, you said you were going to do something? Yeah, if we're close enough and I can see that they're still alive, even the slightest bit, I'll reach out and I will uh, cast Cure Wounds on them. Oh, oh so you're going to touch them? Yeah. Okay. Okay, very interesting. Go ahead and do that. 11 hit points back. Hell yeah. Um, okay. And, and can we, oh, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Can we recognize now that they're close enough to see, you know, what they look like? Do they look like townsfolk? Do they look like someone who would be part of like Yeti's, you know, party? Sure. Um, so I, I will give you this before, uh, before they start to uh, right themselves on their horse. Their garb is very much that of a traveling, um, a traveling farmer, in fact. So they have a kind of overalls, and they have uh, have only one weapon that you could see. They have kind of an old-looking sword that is um, that is attached to their to their hip at the moment, completely sheathed uh, right now, for for now at least. Um, and they they are completely uh, completely clean shaven uh, in their head and and uh, so that's what you see at the moment. You can't exactly tell whether or not this person seems to be of the bandit variety, but but from from the garb being more of a a salt of the earth farmer esque, you you probably assume not. And then right. they cough and start to uh second cast cure wounds on them Hosen, just fyi um and then they start to hold themselves up and easy easy take your time he looks around and says where where am i Shit. Who are you? <laughs> Second. Uh, my name is Cinnamon. Uh, glad you're feeling a little better. A we little. just saw you on the road and uh, we're quite concerned, certainly. Um, you're just out. How, I don't. Let's see. How far outside of Tursfuls are we? Um, it's probably about noonish. So I would okay. say you've been traveling for about mm -hmm. three hours. So mm -hmm. that that far. You're currently about three hours outside of Tursfuls. Currently on the road. That's, well, that's that's good news because I. <sighs> and he looks. He says, "I need." I need some rest. Um, now, second, since you're the closest at the moment, and Cinnabon, since you're currently in dialogue with him, why don't you both roll investigation checks as he gestures towards his wound? Not awesome. Uh, six. Oh. <clears throat> and a 12. So, second, it's not a slash wound. It is not a bludgeoning wound because there is, you know, blood. It actually looks as though it is a few rows of a piercing wound. Possibly in the shape of a bite mark. You think so? Oh, what? 
Were you were you were you bitten? <laughs> the Chorin have arrived. <laughs> <laughs> I know that face. <laughs> Guest appearance. <laughs> yep. Uh no, uh Cinnamon just says, um, were you bitten th- there? I I don't think so. To, to, to be honest, it, it, I don't remember a lot. I, I remember being on the road and trying to travel, and then all of a sudden, I was I was attacked. Uh, but I don't remember. It just happened so quickly. Um, Where were you coming I, from? Don't, it's coming from Drina. Oh. And for those of you that Trina, he just looks around like, oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. no fucking clue what the fuck that is, but <laughs> yes, Trina, <sir>. sure, Ooh, <laughs> neat, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. What's that? <laughs> yeah, yeah right, exactly. Uh, I think, right. I think, Hosen, you would definitely know where Trina is. Yeah. Um, and and if anybody of you wants to roll history, second door or Big Mama, you you can. Um, Big Mama, I think you probably would know as well, but maybe. Yeah, especially with the nat 20. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... You're from there. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, so so Drina is the, the far eastern city that, that is right on the water, and it supplies a tremendous amount of the freshwater fish to... It is basically like the fish version of Turst Fields for all of Tal'Dori. Gotcha. It is a very, very... Uh, well-known kind of, I don't know, fishing town. I'm repeating myself. Go ahead, Smitty. Um, could I maybe investigate, or not investigate, could I, by looking at the bite marks, use survival to determine if it's a natural creature or an unnatural creature? Uh, yeah, definitely. That's going to be a pretty high, uh, high DC, but please feel free. Nope, just a seven. Yeah, you can't tell. Especially from this distance, like it's not like you are right on top of, on top of this person getting your, you know, your beak into it, mm-hmm. so to say. Okay. Sure. And how far was Drena from where we are? He says, before I got attacked, I probably was traveling for about four or five days. It's, it's a long, long journey. Would you happen to be traveling through the Parchwood Timberlands by chance? Uh, yeah, I've, uh, it's, it's roughly about half a day's ride back in that direction. Um, I, uh, Wonderful. Yeah. Good to know. Well, then. Anyway, I should probably get this taken care of. That sounds like a smart yeah. move by you. Well, hey. I appreciate I appreciate you over there uh, for for healing me up. Um, you wouldn't happen to have any food or or drink that I could have, would you? And uh, Simon will actually toss his um, water skin. All right, he grabs it and he takes a sip of it, and then attaches it to his horse and says. Thank you. That's going to come in handy. What was your name again? My name is Sasha. Sasha. Well, when next we meet, I'll expect that back. You just give us a move. <laughs> All right. And he rides off towards the west, back to Terse Fields. And the four of you turn on your horses, looking towards the east. Um... The sun directly over your heads at the moment, with roughly about half a day's ride left before you get to the edge of the Parchwood Timberlands. And this is where we're going to take our break. Yay, stuff! Yay! Ah! Yay! Fuck! Fuck. (laughs) It's all so much worse! Remember when it was just breakfast? We were having so (laughs) much fun during breakfast. Oh, it's gonna be great. This oh my god! Yeah, with my egg omelet, I'm fine. And then what fine. happened? Yeah, this is so much fun. 
This is great. We went to a library. I've had so much fun. That was great. <laughs> Man, that was great. So, <laughs> life was so simple. <laughs> Let's go back to that library. Let's just. Uh... <laughs> yeah, no, I'm good. loving this so much. I yeah, love me it. too. Me too. Me too. Cool. All right, everybody. Oh, we are going to take about a 10 minute break. Uh, we will come back right at around 935 ish Eastern. Cool. And we will get into the thick of things. See you in a little bit. See you in a bit.
Um, well, not remove the rash, just deal with it for, oh, I'm sorry, are we, are we live? <laughs> <laughs> Apply directly uh, to the forehead. There you go. Oh, God. <laughs> worst commercial ever. It is the worst commercial of all time. Yep. <laughs> second, all of our heads. <laughs> yep. You're welcome. Right. So we just uh, we just left the party before break as they met um, a weary traveler that had some sort of bite on their neck. And uh, and after curing them, finding out a little bit about their backstory, we are back with the group. <laughs> the smoking gun effect. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so we, we've can we've continued on. We're at the edge of the forest now, Bill. Is that where we're... you t- no? You tell me. We can fa- fast forward that far as much as you want. Um, but I did not want to make that choice for you. Sure. No. 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 No problem. Uh, I think. So I suspect we're dealing with more than just bandits now, right? What was that on his neck? Uh, some sort of wound. I Ooh. believe that biting effect. Perhaps that was a yeah. a wolf or something. I guess. Cinnabon. Yes. I think that you and I, if we get close enough to where he may have been attacked, we could possibly turn into something. To kind of suss out what that was. Oh. Certainly. Do you smell what I'm stepping in? I believe I do. I believe that I am indeed stepping into it. Okay. You got a whiff? All right. Uh, uh, um, Yep. So. But is this tied into the other stuff? I'm my, I have a headache. I'm just going to be very honest about it. Oh. Oh. Well, let's go very gently. It seems like everybody here needs to breathe. Everybody needs to take a... <sighs> let's all try this. You two second. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay? Got it? All right. Let's go. All right. They're still like... Oh, my God. Let's go. <laughs> uh, when we do get close, um, I'll uh, try and make us a bit more stealthy. And especially, Bill, when we hit the forest, I'm going to cast Pass Without a Trace. All right, perfect. Um, okay, is everybody comfortable with fast-forwarding to where you see the forest? Yes. 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 Okay, great. So it is roughly another four more hours of travel, and now you are starting to see off in the distance. And just to just to kind of recap, the, the past seven hours of travel have essentially been just copy and paste of of the same like if you remember the the uh wily e. coyote uh cartoons where they would run past and it would just be like the same thing going past over and over yeah. again that's yeah that's more or less what you what you just experienced just low slow rolling hills that are covered in some sort of uh you know recently harvested grains of some sort and now the landscape is shifting a little bit and now especially because the sun is directly behind your head it is getting close to twilight at the moment um you you see off in the distance the the bright green lights of the forest as the the sun kind of reflects off of those leaves um and i assume right now is probably when you sit bun would would do uh, pass without trace. Uh, yep. I uh, grab. Um, this will look a little. At least um, the first time that my mother cast this, it looks a bit scary. So, uh, just bear with me. It's all all good. And um, reaches into his component pouch and um, clasps together these like a collection of these like dead leaves that are kind of wrapped together, and he claps his hands and they like turn to like mush in like the consistency of like soot and as he does it you we all see the collections of shadows that just coalesce around them 
almost tying themselves to the very shadows that we have ourselves. And um, it, get, this will give us plus 10 to our, our stealth checks. Fantastic. And I don't believe anybody is wearing armor that would create disadvantage, right? Second. I am. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> and big mama. Okay. Okay. Still, it's it's definitely plus ten. When we find out. All right. So we roll them up. Uh, that's up to you. Yeah. I mean, are you so? Uh, are you? Are you forging into the forest? Unless anyone has any objections. Then I know we're still on a path, right? Yeah, the path just goes right through the forest. The path goes goes adjacent to the forest. In order to mm -hmm. enter into the forest, you'll need to leave the path. Yeah, that I definitely want. Then someone is like, I think now's that time. I think so. Um, Hosen puts up his hood, um, activating the armor blending. Uh, and you see kind of a shimmer goes across him, like a magic kind of arcane um, shimmer as I kind of camouflage into the surroundings. I see the soot and I'm like, oh, we're doing this? Got it. Um, and throws on the hood. And now I have advantage on stealth checks. <laughs> so. You do. Nice. Uh, but don't forget you have disadvantage on perception since you have the hood mm. kind of blocking some of your vision. Makes sense. <clears throat> um. Second will reach out their arms uh, to kind of gather everyone a little closer and say, life, faith, peace, redemption, guide us, bless us, protect us, O holy everlight, and cast aid on everyone Fuck for yeah. uh, five additional hit points to your maximum. Ooh. Nice. It's oh, an awesome. Shit. It's an awesome spell. Love it. Uh, Hosen, by the way, I just checked your character sheet. Uh, you are still down 10 hit points. So I I believe that indicates you did not long rest. Um, I did on my D&D Beyond. My oh, you know what? I didn't refresh. That's why. Mm. Ha! Yep, got him. It's a, <laughs> yep. Cool. Cool. Good, good, All cool. right. Uh, so question, what are you going to do with these horses? Are you riding them into the forest? Hmm. Good question. Sort of spread out a little bit on foot? I would think that would be better. Probably. Worried about these horses, but bring them in. Hmm. We want to go for this. Especially if there's biting things. Not great. Not great. Um, yeah, we to just um, hitch them along the forest and edge. And come back. That would be my thought. Yeah. Probably the best. Um, Second will uh, take off all the saddlebags. Uh, and tie them together and sling them over her shoulder. Their shoulder. Smart. Sounds good. Cool. You trying these things up? Okay, no problem. So, uh, Hosen and Big Mama, you've done this before, no issues. You find a branch that is relatively strong, and you tie up the reins to that branch. Now, it, as far as Entering into the forest goes, um, I will say Big Mama and Cinnabon, you know roughly where that river that I mentioned was. Yep. And so you kind of feel as though you, you have a general sense of direction, but I would like for you to roll a survival check with advantage now that you're here. All of us? No, just the two of you. Okay. Um, 18. Don't like that first one. And then let's do the second one. Nine. Um, so, Big Mama, you are much more comfortable in a wetter environment, and the, and the lack of any swamp here is, is throwing you off a little bit. But Cinnabon, you are more or less right in your element, and you feel very confident that you know directly the the 
um, the direction to go. Um, and it is essentially kind of northeast to where your current position is. You also remember the map pretty well, and you feel as though you could probably make it there in about two hours of a walk hmm. through the forest. All right. On we go. Excuse me as I Google a few things. Okay. Um, <laughs> what is <yeah>. perception? <laughs> <laughs> no, so so the one thing that I was Googling was uh, Pass Without Trace duration, which is up an, to hour. an hour, right? Mm-hmm. So you will get one hour of that. Yep. And, you know, it's up to you if you want to cast it again. Cast it again. Yep. But let's... Let's talk about some things first. So the canopy to the Parchwood timber, Timberlands is, is very thick. And even during the daytime, you would assume, especially you, Cinnabon, having spent many times in places just like this, it would, it would more or less create a twilight effect during the noontime. And now, as it's twilight, it is uh, it is becoming extremely dark at the moment. So now would be the time for typical players to chime in with, I have dark vision. Good question. I actually Anyone? don't think I do. Anyone? Bueller? <laughs> no, team I do not. We don't have anything team afraid of the dark. Is this the first... <laughs> D and D party this in history. ever in history. <laughs> to have no dark vision. Oh, I think so. Oh my gosh, this okay. is incredible. This is fun. Okay. Um, Team small pupils. All right. So, so vision is significantly reduced. Right. It's not pitch black yet. Right. right. But who that is, is who was leading the way. Uh, so well, we haven't established yet, Cinnabon. but probably oh, Cinnabon. Just kidding. <laughs> um, Cinnabon, what are you carrying? In, uh, in uh, staff, uh, shield, um, and he was actually just about to say torches? Yes. Uh, second will reach out uh, and touch your staff uh, and it begins to glow. Uh, oh. 20, 20 foot radius and dim light for an additional 20 feet. So no torches. <laughs> <laughs> Problem solved. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, for now. Um, okay, great. So now you've got 20 feet of light. 20 feet of bright and 40 feet of dim, right? 20 feet of bright and then an additional 20 of dim. Right. Uh, okay, so that's helpful. And I would say that the first pe- people to notice this is Cinnabon and Big Mama with your connection to nature, um, that there is a sudden kind of drop in the humidity and mm-hmm. you start to feel as though it's getting a little bit chillier and then you start to hear some pitter patters on the canopy above. Your druid craft is starting to come true, Cinnabon. Q rain. Right on time. All right. Now, let me kind of describe what the setup is as it relates to the the forest itself. It is a rather dense forest with some thick underbrush. And so it is uh, it is rather difficult to, to move through it. And in fact, I would probably call it difficult terrain unless you were to make some sort of magical change to that. Um, and you do see that there is a thick number of branches that kind of set up an almost uh, inner interlocking web of of infinite le- layers of this and so um so if you were so inclined so for example if there were a tabaxi in the group you know hypothetically they would be able to you know move very easily up above sure but as we are team small here uh it is 
it is tough, <laughs> tough going for you all. Um, and remind me, remind me what your stealth rolls were. If oh, we I haven't rolled them actually, yet, <laughs> I don't think you rolled them yet. So nope. let's let's get that let's on the do books. it. Cool. Okay. So oh, don't so. forget. Plus ten. <clears throat> Thirty-four. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> so I roll at disadvantage because of my armor, right? That's right. Hosen's actually in Eulalia right and now, then, actually. Yeah, I exactly. I have a natural 20 on that one, too. Mm. Oh. Right. Uh, 21 right. for me. Uh, and so it said 6, I think it said on there. So it looks oh, like you still got a 22. Yeah. All right. And that's 26. Yeah, nine. Okay, that was nine, yeah. 22, 26 for Cinnabon, 34 for Hosen, and what was yours? Second? 20, 21. Okay, great. Great. Um, okay. So you're continuing in, and mm -hmm. those pitter patters are beginning to hasten, and you're starting to feel the wetness come through the canopy up above. Um, and you're forging ahead. Mm -hmm. And you will, like to, yeah, go yeah, ahead. Second, we'll take out the towel and tie it like a cowl around his head, their head. All right. <clears throat> Did you still want the blanket? Second, mm -hmm. as you do that, you all hear this. It is the sound of distant, far away howling. Ow! Think we found our biters? Think so. Well, let's see if they can't find us. Okay. Yeah, he's just keeping an even sort of pace. All right. He's, he's done this before. Sounds good. Um, all right, so the first hour you are trudging through, it's difficult, you're getting wet, and you are concerned as the sounds of the howling are not close, but they are ever present. And the first hour is over. Moving into the second hour. And that's where we're, we're going to kind of break this up is into our chunks. By hour three, you will have reached the, the river. Okay. All right. Um, at the end of that hour, second, we'll step up to the dimming staff and relight it. Yeah. <laughs> nope. Well played. And, <clears throat> and we'll do so at the start of each hour. Yes. Uh, <laughs> as needed. As needed. Love that. Uh, Love it. Is the verbal component of that Aziz light? No. <laughs> Aziz light. <laughs> That's my most recent tattoo, by the way. Is the fifth element dots I I'm have on my inner wrist. Oh shit! Nice. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, that's so I cool. Did. I don't know if I'm gonna show it, but <laughs> yeah. Oh hell yeah! That's oh, awesome. that is so cool. Yeah. That's a great tattoo. It's <laughs> awesome. Um. Okay, so let's go ahead, and I, I suppose, are you going to roll Pass Without Trace again? Yeah, I will. All right. Ready. Uh, let's get some self rolls going. Okay. 35 for Hosen. Hosen? Hosen doesn't even know uh, where he, he is. He does, yeah, <laughs> what is happening? Good Lord. 16 for a second. Uh, 26 for a button. And then that was uh, 12 again, plus 10, 22 for Big Mama. Okay. All right. Perfect. <sighs> okay. You trudge on further into the forest. The rain is really coming down now. Um, 
and you start to hear the howls still pretty far off and um and you know that you only have one hour left as second goes to light the light that is dimming I'm, uh, i will light the light i will ring out the towel and then in a quiet voice in the towel to make sure i'm getting it correctly i will do a small quiet howl uh <laughs> to confirm that i'm able to howl like these beasts uh okay roll a performance check with advantage fucking great <laughs> Back it's an eight. Huh? It's an eight. It's an eight. Okay. I mean, listen, that's not too bad. With advantage. Yeah. Incredible. They're far away. They're far away. I don't have it down yet. Mm-hmm. Not a perfect science, everyone. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's been pra- yeah. New, 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 new abilities. New abilities. Uh, okay. You're gonna do stealth once, once more. I don't know. I really want that last little spell slot. I can do it. Perfect. Okay. Team. Team pass without trace. Team pass without trace. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, um, I... 24. 36. How am I going more and more? <laughs> what is happening? Amazing. <laughs> um, that's a. a uh, 28. So, <laughs> 27. <laughs> and I had a nat 20 as if I just didn't roll for advantage. <laughs> Damn. Uh, remind me, Cinnamon, what was yours? Uh, 28. And second? I'm sorry, uh, 24. 24? Okay. Okay. I dig it. Last hour? You, you, yeah, you are, um, you now start to hear the rushing water of the river as you are getting deeper into the forest. Um, and in fact, it is louder even than the the sound of the rain, as the sound of the rain is is it is more or less torrential at the moment. And maybe Big Mama, you are getting a little bit more comfortable with the forest as it goes it goes more and more soggy, and and so uh, you are getting closer and closer to this river. And what you see uh, is is that this is it is not a small river. Um, it is roughly about um, 70 to 80 feet wide. And the other thing that I will say is that Cinnabon, you especially probably specifically smell that there is something odd about this river. It is not a river of fresh water. Um, but beyond that, you do see that the forest continues on the other side. Um, mm-hmm. And again, thinking back to your your map uh reference you also know that it is you are probably within maybe another hour of the uh of the camp you just have to follow this river to the left a little bit got it well i'll kind of whisper share that keep it simple sure um interesting Give me one second as I type something. Uh, Second reaches, holds out a hand to everyone and just puts up one finger uh, and will take out a white uh, sort of rounded blanket from Mm -hmm. their bag that has a a phoenix on it. Um, And they're going to kneel down onto the the blanket and just kind of touch their head to the, the blanket and just repeat uh, over and over again, life, faith, peace, redemption, for like a minute. 
Uh, and then we'll stand up and put the bag away and smile and nod at everyone. Jimmy just greets, grins at you. Mm-hmm. Gives you a nod. <clears throat> Same with Hosen. All right. Very cool. Um, so are you going to forge ahead? All right, you're going left down the river. Mm-hmm. Um, does it, even in the darkness, does it, like that smell is off. Is it like an acrid smell or? No, no, it's actually um, maybe never a smell you've ever smelled. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> he doesn't say anything, but he's like, I really wish I had my water skin now. <laughs> <clears throat> He'll just keep going. Um. It's really funny because like it's really at least all chicks, but it's intense as shit right now. Like I'm feeling it. Really it. Like, is. <laughs> mm. oh, the music doesn't hurt. No, for uh, sure. Do you see that? Do I see what? No. Hold on. Okay. I tried I, to... Okay. You got it? I do. Thank you. Cool. Alright. Cool. Okay. Forging ahead. Yeah. Forging ahead. All right. Um, so now we are into the fourth hour. It's roughly about nine o'clock at night. Um, and I would like, well, you tell me, are you going to do Pass Without Trace again or or whatnot? Because that's a lot of spell slots. Yeah, it is. Um... I think I'm going to kind of look at everybody and just say, so do we want to just blow shit up tonight? Not physically, you know, I'm, just, I'm more referring to something my father says, more, more referring to push forward and confront. Or do we want to wait? I think, I think we should push forward. All right. That being said, we're gonna. I mean, this this uh, um, magic that you guys have, I, I can only imagine must be taxing. So I want you all at full strength. Uh, sure. Do we? Do we take the risk and not do it this time? Let's keep going. All right. Let's let's take the risk. All okay. right. No pets. Let's go. Okay. Um, all right. A little bit further in. Well, so let me let me I guess answer the question. Are you doing pass without trace again? No. Okay. All right. Then let me let me get that. Actually, Big Mama, you also have pass without trace. Uh-huh. What, are your, what are your thoughts on the matter? Yeah, because that was the last time that we did it. I cast it. Um, so if they say no, then we won't do it again. Okay. Sounds good. Don't wrong. If um, you wanted to, you certainly can. He will not be upset. Would the rushing of the water kind of help, you know, mask our sound a little bit? Mm. Yeah, sure. Hopefully. Sure, yeah. yeah. Cool. Way to find out. I mean, yeah, sure. Sound, it'll definitely mask. Okay. Um, That's one of those. Will, <laughs> second will not light the, the staff uh, with this leg of the journey. I think that's a smart move. Ooh, okay. <laughs> yeah, we're just following along the river. Yeah. Right, and that being said, is it still completely like a canopy all the way through? That's right, yes. Even across the 70, 80 foot wide river, there's no light coming in. Well, it is nine o'clock at night. Sure. I listen. I keep track of these things. I'm That's just good. 
<laughs> Starless. I'm just making sure. Starless guy. I, I think second right now is more worried where the constellations and moon have gone since we got yeah. into the forest. Yes, yeah, sir. It's sure. like a bigger accident. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're in the Feywild. Uh, are th <laughs> I think... Um, just looking out for... Because, like, the fact that there's not, like... If this is, like, where their hideout is, like... Why isn't there like uh, fire or something like that? I think is kind of where where his head's at right now. Um, well, you're still you're still about an hour away. So oh, okay, then that's fair. Right. Yeah. Okay, so cool. I'll I'll light the thing then and and, and then drop we'll, it like forty five minutes uh, forward or so. And sure. is the river flowing in the direction we are heading? Or uh, it is flowing in the opposite direction. So you're headed this okay. way. It's going this way. Got it. Gotcha. Okay. Cool. Okay. And is it raining on us? Just making sure it is still steadily raining. That's right. Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. Super rain. <laughs> Helps with smell too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> so <laughs> super wolves. <laughs> so here's what you see. For the first forty-five minutes, you have the light working, and you plod along as the ground gets soggier and soggier along the riverside. And uh, and right about the time when, second, you see off in the distance a, a very uh, faint light kind of indicating possibly where a fire might be, might be raging. Uh, not raging, but burning. Um, you- Party. Extinguish, extinguish the light. Yes? Fantastic. And I am going to drop you into the map that we're going to be using. Mm, let's go. Map, map. And now I will do the thing. So you all as players should be able to see uh, your characters down at the very bottom here. Uh, I have hopefully correctly indicated your current hit points as well as your max hit points. And you should also have the ability to move these folks around. Uh, yep. Just make sure. Yeah. Per perfect. Oh, ah, cool. <sighs> there we so go. Cute. Cool. I love it. And this is what you see ahead of you. You see this river roughly 70-ish feet across. And you see across, um, there is a fire that is lit. And you can see that there are a few tents around that, that fire. And just barely lit in the evening. And granted, you know, this is a daylight map. So just imagine it's nighttime and rain. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but you also see we can't a, have it all. I <laughs> uh, know, you know they the this this artist is one of my absolute favorite artists. It it is Che and Peku um, that I always yeah. use. Yep. Um, and they have so many versions. They even had one that was drought, and I was like, oh, that's great. But they didn't have the caravan, and they didn't have the tents. And I was like, mm. oh no, oh no. <laughs> so we'll just have to use a little bit of imagination here. But yeah, they're great. More or less, you do see the caravan that is that is in there. Um, that is a, a lit by some of these, uh, some of the lights of the fire here. <coughs> um, I am going to basically turn it over to you uh, to see how you would like to approach this. At the moment, you still have Pass Without Trace on. It is, uh, it is silent. Okay. Because we just noticed that Smitty just kind of like snuffed out the light. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um. So should we make our appearance known, or should we continue this way? You know what? I think I think the stealth rolls have led up to this. Yeah, sure. Um, but if your intention is to remain quiet, which is which is perfectly fine if you want to make yourselves known, right? Uh, you should make a stealth check right now. Yeah, I think that's uh, yeah. Stealth. All right. 
Go for that. 16. 26. <laughs> without pass, without a trace. Nine. Six. There we go. All right, so we got a six. Uh, okay. Does anyone have any ideas about how to get over this body of water? <sighs> Not particularly. Does anybody know how it's... to swim? I do know how to swim. Second points to the bunch of wood that seems lashed together. Uh, near the down a tree, perhaps. Mm. Yeah. Do we have enough muscles to move that? Um, or is that maybe? Oh, was one? Because like I, I, me, Jacob, I'm like Jesus Christ. This is a big, like the fucking. It's like a. What is that, a hundred feet across? Almost? That's wild. That's a big old river. That's um, a big old river, so yeah, he's not... No, it's um, 65. Oh, okay. Because it looks huge. Um, Yeah, fair enough. There it is. Uh, enough said. Now, you do see that there is that carriage that has been overturned inside of the water mm -hmm. uh, which indicates that it is not terribly deep no does that carriage look familiar um you could roll an investigation check um 15 not necessarily um you know you you don't really remember seeing any carriages inside of terse fields. Um, you don't really remember seeing any carriages really anywhere else. The fam had one. Oh. Okay, well, it's not that. <laughs> um, Great. Because <laughs> that things were about to get very different. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I see there's a crate looking thing um, behind the down tree. Would we be able to see that? I mean, you have to get you have to get closer. You have to get closer, yeah. Yeah. Let's. I mean, considering, yeah, let's let's scooch on over. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Just take our time. Oh, big mom like scooched already up in there. Hey, uh, and that's like that. that's fine. And Big Mama, what I will say is that now that you're there, you are keenly aware of this guard um, who is on the other side of the river, uh, uh -huh. who is kind of sitting there uh, picking up stones off the side and throwing them into the water. Completely oblivious to your presence. Okay. All right. Does anybody else in our team like see that, see the guard, or is it just me that notices the guard? Um, I think you were the first one, but now that everybody has moved over, um, everybody else is, uh, sees, sees that as well. Yeah. Nice. Even though, of course, I've been the loudest one, we used to be like, shh, shh, shh. <laughs> Do as I say, not as I do. You know, like tactical, like, you know, <laughs> but I'm the loudest. All the hand signals. Um, right. Yeah. I think Hosen kind of looks at this guard across the river, kind of leans over to the group. So I want to see what's in that crate over there. Um, I'm pretty stealthy looking right now. I could try to walk on over, peek if there's anything of use inside. All right. And if it goes belly up, then we, we have your back. Wait, hold, hold on one second, right? Mm -hmm. Didn't we? Did we divvy out our potions yet? Because it seems like y'all two may need them. And she points over at like Hosen and 
just feeling it would be that way will be with Cinnabon as well. Like, I, I don't remember if we ever did. <laughs> no, no. We never um, did. Yeah. <laughs> Good whole seven days. <laughs> yeah. What can um, you do? Tell me you have ADHD without telling me you have ADHD. <laughs> Um, yeah, cool. so what I will do is, assuming that you are going to split the um, the potions of healing, yeah. I will I will go ahead and put that inside of each of your um, inventories. Cool. And you. you still have um, the bottled breath, mm -hmm. which yep. um, it contains the breath of elemental air. When you inhale it, you either exhale it or hold it. If you exhale, you gain the effect of the gust of wind spell. If mm. you hold it, you don't need to breathe for an hour. Oh. Well, that's nice. And then the oil of slipperiness, nice. which is essentially like you could either um, grease something or put it on somebody's body and give them freedom of, uh, freedom of movement. Mm. Would have been great during the forest. <laughs> All good. That is true. It worked out. It worked Washing out. Washing it up. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, uh, well, Hosen, I think you're up. Alrighty. Um, I sneak on over to the crate. Okay. Uh, roll a separate stealth check. Cool. Um, that's an 11. Here we go. There we go. Of course. Then I'll be plus 20s. <laughs> God bless. It's tough. Ooh, that's tough. I'm going to roll. Do your thing. So. I will. Um, I will. S s on the armor, it says the. Uh, anyone trying to perceive me gets disadvantage. I don't okay. know if that would be. That's what I was rolling. Here. That's okay, what cool. I was rolling. <laughs> yeah. Cool, cool. <laughs> okay. Can oh, you boy. see my Can you see my yeah. rolls by the way? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay, yeah. great. Mm -hmm. Uh okay. Yeah. So <laughs> you hop Let's over. go. <laughs> Let's go. You hop over and I'm just going to place you kind of right here. -ish. Yeah. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. And at that moment, um you I don't know, maybe maybe a glint off of um off of your hilt of your sword or something kind of catches the eye as uh as the fire is is kind of shining the only source of light reflects off of off of some part of your body and he stands up and says hey there who's there both comma both of them yes <laughs> Uh, I say nothing. Um, well, sure, slowly come. back away. Let them uh, approach. <laughs> okay, make another stealth check. <laughs> As you back away. Just, that didn't work. Yeah. Where were you? 24. <laughs> <laughs> JK, hello, <laughs> <Where bud? laughs> Come okay. on now. All right. So, um, so you know what? Wow. With this, he kind of sits back down and says to himself under his breath, I must have seen something. <laughs> and then pick, picks up a rock <laughs> and starts throwing it across the river again. I go back to the group. Okay, so that didn't work. Um, um, couldn't see anything right. inside the crate. Um, oh. we do have this kind of bundle over here of sticks. We can, um, try to sail across. We also do have this bold breath of one of us can mm. consume it, hold our breath, kind of swim mm. underneath the water, mm. hop out the other side. Try to stealth mm. across somehow. I'm a I'm a fairly decent decent swimmer, so I won't decline. I like that plan. Maybe now's the time for that pass without trace. You might be right. 
But then what after that? Do we just try to f swim through the river across? And the river's only like, what, like two feet deep? It's tough for you to tell it at, at uh, yeah, with no that, fucking clue. Right. Yeah, so yeah. it's too dark, probably. Yeah, <laughs> Big Mama's only three feet. So well, you know what? It. You know what? Here, I will say this: that you could probably. What? Why don't you roll an intelligence check? Big Mama. Yes. Uh, intelligence. Eighteen. All right, with an 18, you get a sense that's, again, you can't get an exact depth, but looking at that carriage that has been tipped over, you see that it is, you know, it is no more than uh, four feet at points. You know, it is a river, so there could be ups and downs, but it is, mm -hmm. you know, probably max four feet. All right, so. Hear me out. Guys, what about if I shape into a crocodile, go across the river, and just dispatch of our friend over there on the other side? We weren't they trying to right kill any we weren't trying to kill any more people, right? I, I, well, I mean we keep um, Preservation of life. And he like literally just points. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, Big Mama, I love the idea, and I think you could be quite scary. Try to scare off these, uh, these uh, bandits. I forgot the word. Um, if to be fair, right we also need them. to confirm that they are the same people that we're looking for. That's true. We don't know that yet. True. Um. Um. We could just go ask. I mean, all the information that we have is that this is where the bandits were kind of camping these are this is the area where the bandits would be these are people here i would assume i i i hate to assume but certainly all right and what are you going to ask them like hey are y'all the bandits and they say yes then what <laughs> Well, now we know. <laughs> <laughs> we give a thumbs up. Say we want to join. Uh, um, that's, a, well, that's not even something I considered. But I will say that it's possible that we could maybe convince them that Tursfields is not the way to go and maybe just leave us alone. You know? Of conversation. <laughs> Uh, um, rather that than turn into a crocodile, if I'm being honest. Redemption. Yeah. Do it out for them. Um. And then if they try to like shoot me with an arrow, then we're back to crocodile plan. A violent oh. hand is an unjust hand. Okay, not the crocodile plan. Somewhere in between those two things. Okay, okay, okay. All right. It sounds like we need to talk, but there seems to be any, uh, some sort of ruse. Sounds like y'all need to be, are thinking about? We talk to someone. I think we just- We don't even know how many are out there. No, All we, we know don't. is just- Okay. That's a way to find out, though. I mean... I could try to stealth across. If you want to go up and speak, I could be right behind... Sure. ...enemy lines and... All right. If anything goes 
a wire, I can... I mean, last time was the first time I turned into a big person, but sure. <laughs> I can I can try again, um, if need be. I can... Okay, so it's going to be two going, right? There needs to be backup somewhere. I'll point to, to Cinnabon and say... All right. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. I can't believe I'm doing this. And uh, he's going to um, move forward to about right here. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. How is your rock fishing situation going over there? Looks quite entertaining. He stands up and walks over here and says, I knew I saw somebody over there. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> yes. Lovely weather we're having, yes? He pulls out a crossbow. Knocks now, now. a bolt into it. And don't, says, be, don't be hasty. You really don't want... I don't, I don't want any, any bloodshed here. And says... They found us. And let's roll for initiative. Okay. <laughs> right. Um. Oh, shit. Woo. 20. 20 for Hosen, Big Mama, you got a 21, yeah? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Second. 20. Holy shit. Let's go. And hold up, did I get Cinnabon? Cinnabon got twenty-two. Uh huh. Let's holy go. shit! All right. Um. So let's get his. That's a ninety-one. Nice. Actually, I'm sorry. It's an eight. It's an eighteen. Eighteen <clears throat> for Fixed. Cinnabon. I got it. All right. All good. Um. Okay. Now let's get some of these other folks in here. That's a lot of dice. And one more. Okay. Um, one second as I check my modifiers. Okay. Okay. Um, Now, something happens off in the distance. You can't see at the moment. Big Mama, you're up. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for thanks for the heads up, though. <laughs> I'm on deck. <laughs> Alrighty. So she sees an arrow. Does he? Does he actually lose the arrow? No, he's got a no, crossbow. We rolled initiative. He, yeah, he was the one that got a nat one. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Big Mama is going to go ahead and cast Moonbeam. Okay. Right on him. Right yeah, on. I don't know if I could click on him, but you know what I mean? The guy right at the river's yeah. edge. If you click and hold, it will kind of do a little ping like this. You see what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. So All right. Do that. Uh, no, no, you don't have to. I'll just let you know. Oh, okay. So kidding. this is a con save, if I remember correctly. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's a nine, which is going to fail. Nine. Nine. Right. Nine. And then I did just do my little majigger, little turn thing. No, I want to change the music. <laughs> I know that feel, Bill. I know that feel. <laughs> um okay so moonbeam will basically the next time that he sits in it at the end of his turn mm -hmm. if he's still in there he gets damage right yes okay and i could yeah move you can it. move it as a bonus action right and can you does he take damage right now 
That's a great question. I think it's at the top of his turn, if I recall correctly. I think that's what it is. It's not now. Okay, at the top of the turn. Uh, Got it. Let's see. The first time we return or the first time we want to turn or it starts its turn there. Got it. Okay. So he's now sitting in this uh, this green circle, which is the moonbeam. Anything else you'd like to do? Otherwise, it'll be Hosen's turn next. <clears throat> um, that was my action. I, yes, I'm going to go ahead and use my bonus action to cast Shillelagh. Okay. And then I, I'm just in the distance. Hmm. I'm gonna scooch. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> She's gonna get like right in between the brambles. Can you see right here, like the little yeah. 25 feet? Yep. All right, and then, okay, I would like to move Big Mama. Okay. <laughs> Don't just point anymore. Okay, and then Kind of like in here, where she's not like hidden, but ish. Does that make sense? Sure. Um, and I will give you partial cover there. So that's uh, plus two AC. Ooh, shit. Cool. All right. Cool. Uh, Hosen, you're up next. And before you go, Hosen, just want to confirm mm -hmm. everybody can see the, the order here. I've, yep. I've had some issues yes. with it before. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. All right, Hosen, you're up. All righty. Um, I'm going to... Uh... Um, I'm just, I think I'm, I need to get across this river because there's not much I can do until I get some part way over there. Um, so I think I'm just going to use my movement, 25 feet of movement to go kind of by this rock over here. Um, <coughs> where I am standing, like how, how. How quickly moving is this water? How so, are we doing? <laughs> it's not that bad. Uh, it is It is definitely moving. Um, mm. And because it is about two feet deep here, which is- it's like up to here, like right. <laughs> chest uh, level. I would like you to make a strength check, please. Gotcha. Mm. That's a nine. All right. Uh, nine. You get pulled. Ten cool. feet downstream. Alrighty. Um do, do, do. Um, let me see here. Um do, do, do. Can I use my action to move up and try to grab onto one of these rocks so I don't get pulled? Absolutely. Yeah, you sure can. Cool. I'll use my action to like move closer and try to grab one of the rocks. Okay, grab, great. So, um, I mean, it's not it's not that th uh, terrible, the, the current. Right. Um, you know, if, if you've ever gotten into waist deep water, you know, even mm -hmm. just a little bit of movement is a little bit sort of disoriented, yeah. but mm -hmm. it is also very easy to grab onto a rock, right? So, mm -hmm. um, so I'm not necessarily gonna make you roll additionally. So you can feel free to just grab on. And cool. in fact, if you move there, I will also give you partial cover because the rock is right there too. Love it. Cool. Anything else you'd like to do? Uh, that will be it. All right, honestly. second. You're up. Uh, when the individual pulls the uh, crossbow, second turns to Cinnabon and says, he's a little standoffish. I don't think we're gonna get a lot out of him. Uh, <laughs> and then we'll just lower their head, raise their shield and sprint forward. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then one. Yeah, to there. Okay. There, move. Do you want to make a strength roll or anything? Yes, please. Strength or athletics? Uh, uh, athletics probably makes more sense. Actually, it doesn't matter. They're the same. I don't know why I even asked. Okay. Uh, ooh, 18. Oh, nice. yeah. Yeah, so you're able to keep your feet about you. Uh, and then I will use my action to move another 30 forward. Do you want to roll? Oh, actually, I'll kind of angle myself. Sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six. Once I 
feel the push of the water, I'm going to move my diagonal this way, two, three, four, five, six. So if I get pushed, I'll basically go in a straight line. Okay, perfect. I'm not going to make you roll again. Okay. Anything else you'd like to do? Uh, look up at the guy, say, How are your eggs? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Um, you can see, second, that he is now pointing his crossbow at you as you're charging across the river. Um, Cinnabon, you are up next. So disappointed. Uh, he is so <laughs> sad about this. Um, but uh, I will um, go ahead and... <clears throat> Let's see. So yeah, um, I'm going to um, move up about here. Actually, that's not true. I'm gonna cut across, uh, let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 to right about here. Okay. Um, and, um, uh, and Hosen, you, there is a, bit of concern coming from you as you suddenly see right next to you a large fiery like flash as I'm going to summon my wild spirit my wildfire spirit um, right next to Hosen um, actually just a few feet um, away from him so we because there's a part of that teleport ability is like damaging um, but it's more just to make sure that you you're not alone that's my action to do that. Um, bonusy things. Let's make sure I got all my ducks in a row here. Lizard looks down and goes, "Oh, um, thank you. Um, can I pet you?" <laughs> and like tries to reach out. Yeah, he just barks at you. <laughs> and he's <laughs> totally friendly like, oh, looking. Right, right. Of course. Oh, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> um, <laughs> And um, I'm going to use my uh, bonus action to, um, let's see, that was 30 feet of movement. And then I'm going to use my bonus action to rabbit hop, which allows me to jump an additional uh, 10 feet forward. Very cool. Nice. Really um, cool. And uh, I think that'll be, uh, that'll be it. So he's going to jump in the water here. Okay. It's still shallow enough where I yeah. don't think you need to make a strength check yet. Sure. Um, but... Yes, sounds good. And then we are going to go to this guy up here who's going to turn, stay where he is, but take out his crossbow and then shoot at second. Now, again, oof, that's a crit fail. Uh, he is very surprised at this kind of attack that has come in the middle of night, in the middle of raining. And uh, and fumbles his crossbow and drops it into the river. Cool. <laughs> Swims away. Okay. See another one come up over that direction, and this one is going to do the same sort of thing. Shoot at hose um, at second. Now, um, I realize it's probably. I should probably give Hosen full cover and uh, and Big Mom, yeah, Hosen full cover just because he's not only in the water, but also behind a rock. Second, I will give you half cover because you're half covered by the water. Oh, shit. What, what's up? I accidentally cut a new tab on the wrong Chrome tab, uh, okay. so cool. don't mind me. <sighs> not doing great, folks. <laughs> I got a nat one and a two. Yeah, you um, did. Perfect. All right, and the one that got a net one on the initiative is going to try and redeem himself. And does not. That is a total of nine, which that's nine. probably not going to do it. Um, and then something else happens off in the distance. And cool. now we go to Big Mama, top of the order. All right, all right, all right. We went all the way through. Did that guy take his damage from the moonbeam? Shoot, no, he did not. Uh, why don't you go ahead and roll that for me? I appreciate you reminding me. Okay, I did last one. Do you want me to just kind of just do it again? 
No, if you've already rolled, let me let me know what I that did. damage was. That was eleven. Oh. Okay. Like that sound. That was good. I was up there. Yeah, moonbeam damage is eleven. Yep. Is he dead? No. Oh. These folks are a little bit beefier. <laughs> That was so level one. <laughs> I you killed you killed them too fast. Episode one. <laughs> yeah. This is episode three Living now. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking, we learn from our we learn from our, our choices. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. So let me get this going. All right. So from Big Mama. Uh... Oh, sorry. Hold on. Sorry. Totally. Just realized where I was. Eh, 70 feet. Cool. Entangle would be fun to. Nope, 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 nope. I know what I want to do. Spike growth. In Pretty well the first time. Area. Over. Um, um, around like that, like 20 foot area. You see that little arrow? Like, I do, from yeah. end to end. I do. Yeah, perfect. All right, so we're gonna put basically like this ish. Ish. <laughs> this poor one guy. <laughs> no. I was just throwing rocks. <laughs> or, would you, or would you prefer it sort of like this, or like this, or just completely centered on him? Um, like centered on him, a little bit out of the water. So yeah, like that. Perfect. Okay. Done. So that's my, let me cast that, make sure I took that. Alrighty. Okay. And that was my action, right? Yes. Cool. Alrighty. And let me make sure I have got everything all set. Big Mama is going to move scooch near hosen can for 25 feet can we can occupy the same space but would we'll still be can right over here 25 feet to yeah the rocks yep that's perfect i can drop you over there she can move herself <laughs> <laughs> she's a strong independent woman okay don't need I'm no sorry. man I'm sorry <laughs> um all right I think that's I think that's everything. I think that's it. Yeah, I don't have a bonus action I could do at the moment. Uh, let me see. I'm just triple checking one more time. No, we're done. All right, uh, Hosen, you're up. Alrighty. Um, I'm going to. This person um, by the water looks like uh, they're dealing with a lot. Um, maybe a little bit distracted. Um, I'm going to uh, use my action and my movement to try to get across the water um 50 feet of movement yeah you could um, you could dash and make that yeah i'm gonna dash and get across try to be outside of this circle um that's going on okay. um pull my rapier and shield and just kind of like get ready like <laughs> i know i'm the closest one to everyone's combat but that's the best i can do perfect sounds good uh so do you have a bonus action um, bonus action, no, That's, I do not. Sounds good, we go to second next as they are charging across the water. Second will continue to charge. Okay. Six. Nice. Oh, Make it a oh, different attack, I see. Five, six, uh, and we'll oh. run that way. Oh, uh, okay. And then we'll kneel down, bring their shield up, say, you really stuck your neck out on a limb that time, second, and cast Sanctuary. On you? On me. Yep. Nice. Let's go second. Oh, second yes. so cool. Standing. All right, that is, uh, that is a dash action and bonus action, so we're going to Cinnabon next. Um, uh, I, okay, so there we go. Uh, Big Mama Woka, would you like some assistance getting across the water there for just a little bit? Or do you think you have it on your own? I'm actually curious of what you mean, so uh, yes. 
<laughs> well, I think I have a little bit of help because even though I need to get a token for for this, um, my uh, fiery corgi friend um, is right there. And something I just discovered is that this motherfucker can hover you guys. So he is totally fucking flying right now. <laughs> Um, so that's wild. A flying corgi. Amazing. A flying corgi, you know, as you do. Um, if you're willing, um, you're going to go for a little bit of a trip. And um, and he, um, I'm using my bonus action to use fiery teleportation. And he barks, leaps into your hands, and you... And you are 15 feet closer. Oh. Cool. Um... So I just going to move myself then? Um, 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 yep, yeah, just yeah, just for the sake of this, yep. So that's my um, my bonus action. Um, and then uh, with my action, I just kind of yell, "We still don't have to go this way." And uh, I'm gonna cast Fairy Fire, um, and I'm gonna dump it right on that guy's head. All right. <laughs> So not only does he have Moonbeam, Spike Growth, but now any attack against him has advantage. Yeah. Love Beautiful. it. Beautiful. It's a 20 foot cube. So actually kind of right around the same type of situation there. Okay. Um, he, um, he needs to make a dexterity saving throw. That's a nat 20 Ooh. for him. Oh, never mind. Yeah. Well, I guess never mind. He's fine. <laughs> fine. <laughs> Chilling. Um. But there's still some light around him, I think. But he this is, is not nice. fairy fired. Um, but uh, and I'm concentrating on that. Um, and I'll utilize my movement to um, head uh, da, 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 right next to Big Mama Mocha here. All right. Very cool. <clears throat> Do I need to roll a strength something? Uh, yes, in fact, please. Uh, natural 19. He is feeling it tonight, apparently. Perfectly good. Okay, moving to this... For 18. <laughs> this guy. Uh, still with this crossbow out, he's going to try and redeem himself by making a wisdom saving throw to attack second. Thanks for baby. Uh, that is an eight. So... so redirect it or lose it. Yep, I'm gonna shoot it at Hosen. Yep. Batman. That is a 19. That hits. All right, perfect. So this giant heavy crossbow that he is holding on to plugs into your leather armor for a total of 10 damage. That's full damage Jesus. on that Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Oof. I, I see should not have run up so close to these people. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. And seeing that second is coming close is going to um, oh, yeah. 15, 20, 25, 30. Here. Uh, it's going to come over in this direction and more or less be hidden behind this thing. Um, and now we go to this guy's turn, who is now going to take out his crossbow and shoot at second with a wisdom saving throw with a 14. So that meets it, so I think that's fine. Perfect. Okay, so now we're going to do the attack roll. Uh, that's a 10. This is miss all right it goes whizzes whizzing over your uh over your head perhaps when you kneel down to 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 do your prayer that's when the shot went off and he missed but he's going to come up 5 10 15 20 20 30. he's going to come up in this direction knowing that there's further people coming uh alongside and then the last one is going to come up directly in your grill and take out a mace and try and attack with a 12. Oh, I'm sorry, that's flat. That's a 10. I miss it. So, so that's a miss. That, well, no, it gets to be redirected or he loses it. No, no, yeah, he, he loses it. Yep, okay. it's, it's gone. Um, and then let's go to the very, very unfortunate Stone Skipper. Uh, <laughs> would you mind rolling that damage for me, please, for Moonbeam? 
Uh -huh. I love that he just has it moved. It's amazing. <laughs> 11 points. It's taking 11. And then the spike growth. Did you get that as well? No, not yet. Wait, <laughs> hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. Are both of these concentration spells? It's a good spike question. Not. Again, and I'm always doing it. Huh? No. Spike, spike growth is. Spike growth is concentration. Oh, it is. Oh, yeah. So, oh, bummer. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So one of those got to go. Did I already do this before? Yes. <laughs> which all good? Yeah, it's all good. Um, so you tell me which one you want. I will leave the eleven damage for for Moonbeam because that's I think stronger than Spike Growth. Probably. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that Moonbeam going. Okay, cool. You're gonna keep Moonbeam. All right, so I'm getting rid of Spike Growth. Uh, but Bye. there was Fairy Fire, but Fairy Fire failed because he saved. Yep, so the correct. only thing that's still staying there is Moonbeam. All right. Now he is going to see Hosen, charge Hosen, and come at me. And hit Hosen Ooh, yep. with his mace as he pulls it out. That's a 23 to hit uh, for th only three damage. Okay, cool. So not a whole lot, but, uh, but he is now currently outside of the moonbeam. He's got his mace drawn and he slams it into your chest cool uh and now now we got some stuff going on um over the top of you a second you see kind of a blue flash as somebody is hovering. No, not necessarily hovering, but propelling themselves through the air right past you. Oh boy. What you see is a wizard that is cloaked in these blue robes um, and the, the cloak that they have has their hood kind of around their shoulders. And they have a a very serious face with with a uh, a pince nez and uh, and, a, and a little goatee, and he holds out a hand. And seeing Cinnabon and Big Mama Mocha in the water, he see, thinks that they're rather easy targets, and decides to shoot a lightning bolt directly oh across the two of you. Um, so if you wouldn't mind, please give me, what is it, a deck save? Um, it depends on the spell. I think so. It's either it that is, or con. Yeah. It is. Um, well, it's a lightning bolt. Okay. I'm going to use my reaction to absorb elements. Okay. Um, and um, so as the the lightning bolt begins to, to coalesce, um, he's going to uh, reach out a hand and try and pull it towards him. Um, and what Absorb Elements does is I sort of capture some of the incoming energy of the spell, and um, I have resistance to the damage bef even before I uh, I roll. I attempt to save. Okay, so any damage that I roll, you have resistance to it. Correct. Going forward too. So next turn, hypothetically. Um, it's uh, no, until the start of my next turn. Got it. Got it. Okay. Um, cool. And what about you, Big Mama? My deck save. I just have to do that. Yeah, no problem. And you should also roll the deck save as well, uh, with Cinema. Oh, yeah. Um, which I'm pretty sure isn't great. Um, that's an 11. 13 for Big Mama. Yeah. Uh, neither one of those, you said 13? 13. 13 will save, yes. Okay, perfect. So both of you are going to take half damage to this. Um, but it is a lot. So just. Yeah, Lightning Bolt, I think, is 8d6, right? Yeah, 8d6. Oh boy. Uh, that's going to be 24. So each of you take 12 lightning damage. Yeah, that's not great. Oof. Oof. And I'll... Um, but I make... Well, 
I make my uh, my uh, save on fairy fire. My con my uh, concentration check. Okay, cool. All right, we go to the top of the order um, with Big Mama. Oh, and um, one last thing on the reaction, oh, go ahead. Go really it. fast, is um, the all all around his quarterstaff is a spiral of lightning like energy because something else that absorb elements does is adds a one d six of what would this piece in this case would be lightning damage to my melee attacks. Perfect. And you know what? Instead, I think uh, I think of going to you, Big Mama. I am going to say something uh, that is that is going to be our button um, because it's almost business time in in the Eastern realm. Anyway, so Cinnabon. It's an old empathy joke. <laughs> this is this is something that you uh, you notice only because you hadn't seen this person appear yet. They were hidden behind the other kind of uh, structures inside of this camp. And as they are casting this with their hands, so their left hand is is pulled out and the electricity is is coalescing inside of the, uh, inside of their left hand and shooting out. It is also casting a light on what they hold inside of their right hands. And what they hold inside of the right hands is a small wooden carved wand with some ivy wrapped around it that terminates at the top in a dryad. And even at this distance, even in the darkness, you know that this is, this is a familiar uh, staff. This is the staff of your sibling, Honeybun. And we're gonna end it right there. And not just my sibling, that's my twin. Mm. <laughs> this is just gonna get a world of hurt. <sighs> oh, it's only the beginning, y'all. Uh, <laughs> every... <laughs> Can I just do one more turn? <laughs> I want to just can we play like five more minutes, mom? <laughs> no, I am I'm very excited. We're gonna start exactly with you, Big Mama, and we are gonna get things kicked off. Uh, and and as I'm of so right now, glad my turns out coming up after that. Seem like mm -hmm. there's a whole lot of of damage dealt. There has, however, been a lot of emotional da and emotional damage. <laughs> and emotional damage. That's mom was good. She's good. <laughs> She's ready for this. Ready. Right. Oh very, my. very cool. All right, so let's uh, let's do the rounds here. Um, let me change the music so we're not fighting while we're doing rounds. I, I, I'm, I, no, you, you emotionally damaged me. I'm fighting you during the outro right now. Okay, there we go. Get some goblins in here then. <laughs> All right, let's Double. let's let's close it out. Names, plugs, anything you got? Uh, let's start with you, PB Smitty. B Smitty on the interwebs, mostly on the Twitters, a little bit on the Instas. Uh, you can find me here every Tuesday, and you can 100% absolutely not find me Thursday night at 9 p.m. here on the Amphitheater. <laughs> we'll not be doing anything. I will be here every other minute of every other day except for 9 p.m. this Thursday. That's it. All right, the music, that that's not the right music. <laughs> <laughs> it was a cool joke. Epic. It was a joke, but it just I couldn't Amazing. Go with it. Uh, wow. Okay. Very cool. All right, let's go with um let's go with Rain. What are you up to? Where can people find you? Yes, y'all can find me over on Instagram and also on TikTok with all of my cosplay and mermaiding adventure adventures. Adventures, what is that? Adventures, and that is Virgo underscore rain, R-A-Y-N-E. Again, that's Virgo underscore rain. So please, and also, yeah, I will be here next Thursday to kick some ass. <laughs> I'm ready for it. All right, Alex, let's kick it over to you. What, what do you got going on? All righty. Uh, uh, thank you so much for having me. My name is Alex or Ziva. You can find me on Twitch, Twitter um, as Ziva RPG. Um, that, you could find me here next Tuesday because I'm 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 going to be taking notes on how to beat up this mage. Um, so you can find me next time. Get in line. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. And Jacob, what are you doing? What do you got? Going oh, on? dealing with emotional damage all week. Um, <laughs> can't wait for that. Um, uh, I mentioned right at the top of the show, uh, Final Fantasy IX, Duval's Gaming Journey. Uh, so come hang out with me tomorrow uh, as we recover from the emotional damage of, of tonight. Um, and then is this, a, I guess, if y'all are doing the thing, then it's, it's a oh and a week, I guess. I never know anymore, um, which uh, typically means you can find me over on Waffles Maple Syrup uh, playing in our Strength of a Thousands actual play, uh, Outcast and Outclass, which is super fun. Um, and then Friday's uh, Fables Once the Future um, is our Urban Shadows game over on Carrying Comfort Studios. That's super awesome. And then, of course, on Sundays, you can either find me as the Dungeon Master for Duvault and Dragons, our Chrono Trigger 5e d d campaign. Um, we're in the uh, 41st episode now, actually, which is pretty wild. Um, or on the flip side, Dragonlance Dragons of Rebirth. Um, and uh, damn, I'm so excited for, for next week. Let's go. <laughs> All right. And last but not least, uh, you can find me uh, uh, relieving Smitty's. Uh, what is the? There's Where are we going? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You got to change that sentence. Uh, vigil, his his ever ever present vigil of manning the, the the channel. As he walks out the door, I will give him a firm handshake and say, have a, have <laughs> "Sayonara." A good, have a good you had day. a good as, run, kid. As I show up here at nine o'clock on on this Thursday, uh, September fifteenth, to from what I am guessing, probably make jokes by myself for about an hour, um, and then <laughs> wait, is that is that what we're doing? It? I had no idea. Uh, wait, wait, what? Doing what? AM jams in. PM. <laughs> what a walk! <laughs> it was it was sort of like Smitty threw up the volleyball and I just kind of left. <laughs> <laughs> That's the show. That's the fucking show, you guys. <laughs> it's oh really my fun. God. Um, and beyond that, I was I was actually telling telling the the folks here that uh, what this is this is probably one of the most fun uh, campaigns I've ever prepped for typically i don't enjoy prepping but um but yeah this is this is a lot of fun i can't wait to see uh see the rest of the cast here next tuesday um and and all of you that have come to join us lurk hang out and whatever um not, not, sorry but not for nothing but that makes it sound like actually doing the game is like man she's like let me tell you prepping, prepping for this no, game fucking is hell. awesome <laughs> Doing it, can take it or leave it. Yeah, I, I enjoy I enjoy living in my little world, and then you all come and ruin it. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel about AMGMs. <laughs> That's how I feel all the time. All right, very cool. So we're gonna we're gonna wrap up here. Um, uh, Duval, I'm gonna sh shift it over to you for the outro and and who who are we rating and stuff. All right, so folks. Here on the episode, we'd like to remind you of a few things before we we go our separate ways, and that is that Black Lives Matter, stop AAPI hate, trans rights are motherfucking human rights. If you do not have a uterus, you don't get to tell people with uteruses what to do with their uterus. It's not yours. Mind your business. Climate change is fucking real. You see how hot it is right now? Wake the fuck up. Uh, and lastly, certainly not leastly, choose love when you have every opportunity to do so. So, we are going to find a place to go, right? We are going to raid over to our friend of the show, the one and only Critical Bar, who's playing some Dead by Daylight. Um, so, show them some love. Uh, they just got, actually just announced a new show that they were in that looks really amazing over on uh, Cobalt Press. Uh, so, uh, send them some love, um, and because uh, uh, they're pretty cool. Uh, so, with that, we are going to press the infernal button and do exactly that. Um, so, without further ado, we will see you very soon. Say bye, everybody. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. So long. <laughs> bye, everybody. And we're out. Cute. Right. Cool. Emotional Super damage. Rad.